guys, my first guest here tonight. She is the host of the popular radio show with over 3 million listeners worldwide. What's happening with Tabitha Simmons? And she's also the host of the new music video TV show for independent artists called The Six Four. She's a phenomenal public speaker whom uh, we call a country girl from the small town of Sumter, South Carolina. And she's here right now in the talk of the town. <laughs> Tabitha Simmons. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, what's happening? Hey, you know, I was gonna say what's happening. Uh oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you do it. Fine. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> what's happening with you? How you doing? Hey, you know, I, I was hey, outside you know, of a few technical, you know, technical, 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 technical difficulties. Technical I'm doing good. I'm now you got me up right. in your house because I, I can hear myself. I can hear myself. <laughs> you gotta turn me down over there. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me turn you down some. Hold on a second. Yeah, so I. So I don't hear feedback. Okay. Let me see. You good? Yeah, right there is good. All Got right, it? much better then. <laughs> there we go. Now you're from Sumter, South Carolina, but where you live right now? I live in Columbia, not too far from Sumter. I didn't go too far now. Okay. Now Sumter, I, I think I've been to Sumter, South Carolina. It's a really small town. You can miss it. Don't tell my business to everybody in the world now. It is small now. You might have been through something. Unless you in the military, you ain't had no business stopping in there. Because I know you ain't stopping out at our mall at all. At all. <laughs> you right about that. Uh, I think, let's see. I was there, man, it was many moons ago, though. I was there mm -hmm. for a uh, a business trip. I, while we was there, I have no idea. <laughs> That's all right. Most people have no idea why they did anyway. I don't know why I thought they told me you lived in Atlanta, though. No, I'm back. In, you know what? I may as well live in Atlanta, being as how I do a lot of business in Atlanta. So I'm constantly back and forth darn near every weekend. So most people would think that. Now, you know, I'm from Atlanta. Oh, you're from Atlanta? Yeah, I just live in Los Angeles now. OK, listen, I don't know much about listen, big cities. Nah. I've been to Los Angeles. I have a brother who lives in California, actually. So um, I actually get out there maybe two or three times a year, actually. So you're not a big city girl? No. If, if what I just said makes sense. <laughs> no, not really. I can tolerate it, but not really. I'm a country girl. OK. So you, you have, I, I would say, blossom because sometimes I think I saw I used to see when you used to do videos on Facebook. Did you what? call them what, what's happening? I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've seen some of your videos. I used to actually tune in when you did a couple of lives, but then I stopped seeing your stuff and I was like, oh, what happened to her? Yeah, I kind of uh, was in the process of um, integrating to um, a larger platform. Um, the more viewers I got, I started um, actually getting offers to be on radio stations. And so that's why I kind of branched off to start doing that versus doing live. So I cut down on a lot of my live videos. Okay. And so now you've done television and radio. I mean, 3 million people listening to you talk is a lot of people. <laughs> well, listen, listen, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm so humble. And, and, you know, I, I think it's the voice, you know, and it doesn't help. I guess when they finally see me, they're like, Okay, that makes sense. All right. I I'm pretty sure it's the voice, though. <laughs> Do you get a lot of people sliding in your DMs? <laughs> Ugh, sliding ain't a word. They slide in there, they run in there, they jump in there, they fly in there. Everything you can possibly do, that's what they do. And you know that what I do? Slide them right on back out. If it ain't pertaining to business, slide right on back out. Now, now <laughs> how was that for you? Because you are a public figure. You, you speak on stages. People see you on television. They hear your voice on radio. What is that, is that like for you as far as it relationships are concerned or people attempting to build relationship outside of business for you? Um, I stop it at the door because I'm in a relationship. Um, my relationship is not necessarily in the public eye. Um, the way I see it is, you know, I got to have something for myself in my personal relationship. I kind of keep that away from, um, you know, nosy people and people trying to talk about stuff. So most people, when they when they see me or when you when they talk about me, they really have no idea. But I have someone and that's what allows me to go ahead and shut that right on down at the door. <laughs> so that's good. Now, now, do you find it difficult um, to maneuver your personal relationship from your public relationship with with the world? 
Um, no, it's uh, two separate things. Um, actually, my private relationship, um, he is the owner of the radio station that I'm on now that has gained so many followers. Um, and we we work together. Uh, we still have our and he does his thing, you know, and nobody knows that he's attached to me and vice versa. So um, it's 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 worked quite well. You know, it's not hard to do. You know, you got to think um, back in the day. You had people like uh, all the old school R&B artists and, and uh, actresses. You never knew about their personal life, who they were seeing, if they were married, how many mm -hmm. kids they had. So it's definitely possible to make that happen. Now, did you think, I'm glad you brought that up. Now, you know, Tabitha, that everybody's going to know now because you just said it. <laughs> uh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> but, the, but in today's society where everybody feels the need to post who they're with and what they're doing at all times, times have changed a lot. Now, I'm not sure how old you are, but do you see that be, being a problem in a sense with people like people feel like they have to post their who they're with and their relationship on social media? Do you feel the same way? Uh, I do not feel like it is necessary. I feel like it opens the doors for other issues. I feel like once you open the door for your personal business to be out on social media, then you open the doors for um, criticism. You open the doors for anything that people will say, because that's what you put out on the forefront. So, no, I'm not in favor of people putting, you know, I get I don't really see the purpose, but to each its own. If you want somebody to know, hey, I'm in love, I'm happily married or this is my boo thing or this is my sugar daddy. Listen to each its own. I just don't agree with it. It's too much. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the same thing. You know, I, I yeah. think your personal life should be your personal life. But, you know, it, with the people in today's society, I hear a lot of women saying, well, he's hiding something he don't want me to be shown on his social media do you agree with that i do not i think that is um a sign of um low self-esteem maybe slightly maybe from a, on a scale of 100 percent. i think maybe uh 20 percent worth of self-esteem issues you're not necessarily hiding something you know you don't you know and a lot of people think that way i have mm -hmm. in the past been told that not in my current relationship but mm -hmm. um I have been told that as well. And it's like, you know, you have to be careful what you post. I mean, I have to be careful what I post because when people can't get at you one way, another way they can get at you is through your family or through mm -hmm. your personal life. So you cannot leave them room to come in and talk about or get in on the mix or mess up anything you got going on in your personal life. Uh, I believe that. Now, I think I read somewhere now you host a show called The Six Four. Are you six four or are you, are you over the six? six four? The 64. Actually, I am six foot two. So it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> now, was that the reason why they 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 duped you to, to um, host that show was because of your height? Uh, no, actually, it's just that my fans, because they know how tall I am, they just decided to do, you know, fans do their own thing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what they decided to relate it to six. Well, she must be six, four. Yeah, with heels. I really am six, four with my heels. But um, no, they actually, you know, sought me out because of my uh, <laughs> my hosting abilities. And I could be wrong. It might have something to do with my height. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. One of the things I used to love about your your videos were you you came across as genuine, authentic, mm -hmm. and very honest. Like you used to let people into your life. Was that a scary yes. thing for you, or you was just like, "Hey, it is what it is." Listen, um, no, and I say that uh, because when you are, I'm, I'm, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual, and mm -hmm. when you're on a path that you've been given or you've been told to walk. You don't fear anything that you're supposed to be doing. So for me, um, in the beginning, of course, I was questionable because I'm a very, very, very private person, very laid back, very much to myself. And this was different for me. But unbeknownst to me, when I when I sat back and I thought about it, I had been preparing or, or he had been preparing. My creator had been preparing me for this all of my life. So when I first came out, it was knowing that I was helping people by being so transparent mm -hmm. with my story and where I had come from and where I was trying to go that ended up attracting everybody that I know now as my followers and fans. So, so what do you see for this next year coming up? I mean, I'm not sure how affected you was by COVID. I think everybody was affected in some form of fashion. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But I mean, I think to come out and garner three over three million people listening to your 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 show, what do you see in the future for Tabitha Simmons? 
Um, as you said, you know, COVID kind of stopped a lot of things. It stopped me from being um, out physically in the public, but it gave me an opportunity to um, build, you know, my studio at home and, and be at home a little bit more to work on some things and create more projects. So um, I, I probably suspect that they're going to close everything down. And I wish they would from my personal perspective. I wish they would for maybe about a month or so, a mm. month or two. And then we open back up and let's get everything going because um, I want to be back out on the forefront so people can, you know, see me and, and hang out with me and feel the vibes and the good energy and all that good stuff. So I'm seeing, you know, myself out on more platforms, you know, because that's where I was going before they shut everything down. So that's where I'm headed once everything opens back up and we get back to rock and rolling. You ready to start rocking and rolling? Absolutely. I'm always ready. <laughs> now, do you find, do you find it uh, that people, when they see you out in public, they want you to be the person they see on television, and not allow you to be who you are? No, uh, it's one and the same. What you see um, on TV, the joking person, uh, aside from the, um, the the private part, uh, I'm learning to be a bit more um, <laughs> people friendly. I am friendly for the most part when I'm doing my job, but you know what? Um, I'm learning that sometimes, you know, fans can't differentiate between personal time and business time. So I'm learning how to maneuver my way. Um, but when they see me on on my live, when they see me on my, my video show, when they see me anywhere, the person that you get there is exactly the same person you're going to run into in Walmart, in the streets, on set. That's what you're going to run into. I'm the same. What you doing in Walmart? <laughs> Listen, getting everything I'm not supposed to. Sometimes I go in there for chips. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be front. I'm going to be up front. I go Walmart in there for is chips. a scammer, ain't it? Because you go in there for one thing, you come out with a whole bunch of stuff you didn't, you didn't intend on getting, right? Yeah, that's how they get you. <laughs> Well, if people want to uh, connect with you uh, online, how, how can they do so? Absolutely. You can find me on uh, the Tabitha Simmons on Instagram and just regular plain old Tabitha Simmons on Facebook. And um, I'm also on the No Chill Radio station, No Chill Radio uh, on Facebook as well as on Instagram as well. So that's um, that's how you can find me. You can't miss me. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, well, listen, Tab, I really appreciate you taking the time to come and hang out with me uh, again, man. You know, this has been a blast for me this whole season. So I really appreciate you being here to for us to just close this thing out. We close it out right with what's yes. happening. Listen, I thank you so much for uh, I was so humbled and, um, and 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 taken aback by the invite to be a part of your show um, and to know that you you were listening to me from. When I was sitting at the bar in my first location doing my little first Facebook yeah. motivational lives, like it meant so much to me. And I want to thank you so much for having me. <laughs> oh, Yo, you're welcome. Now, Tabitha, are you in the clubhouse? Uh, no, you want to know why? And I'm just going to tell everybody my business right here because there's some people listening that know me. No, because I like my Android. <laughs> <laughs> And, be, and you know what? I frown. My other half tells me, Tab, you need to get in here. Now can I buy you an iPhone? No, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced yet. But I see, you know what? It's doing some amazing things. Mm -hmm. I see my family members in it. A lot of other business partners are in it. And it's a phenomenal thing. So I may have to give in and get me an iPhone just so I can take part in that. I think you need to come on over so you can you can hang out with us and we can have some I mean, the conversations that you can have over there, the, the things you can do over there is amazing. And this this app, I, I heard last night, I think they're about to uh, take it public very soon. So this is a great time to get in. Yes. Yes, I've heard. Trust me, I hear it every single day from the other half. Every day. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get on board with it. I'm going to get there. Yeah, come on in, Tab, so we can, we can moderate some rooms together and have a great time. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. All right, Tabitha Simmons, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yo, 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 yo. You're in the mix. The world's finest, man. DJ. Just now. I have the radio on the telly.